Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log video diary and this week I've been planning the visual effects update as well as improving some of the GUIs. Firstly though I just had one small little update to add to the combat stuff that I was working on last week and that was giving mobs the ability to do a damage animation when they get hit which you can see this skeleton doing right now. To do this I of course had to do some work with the entity editor and I added these new options here to the health component. This allows me to add any number of damage animations to a mob and then these animations can then be previewed or removed. Then in the game when the mob gets hit it randomly picks one of those available damage animations and carries it out. As I already mentioned I also did a bit of work on improving the GUIs this week. The first change that I made was to make the large health bar at the bottom of the screen only appear when you're in combat, so as soon as you attack something or get attacked the health bar appears and then when you come out of combat the health bar slides back down out of the display giving you a bit more space on the screen to actually see what's going on in the game. And of course you can still see how much health you have from the smaller health bar up here by your player's profile. The other change that I made to the GUIs this week was with the GUIs on the right of the screen which used to look like this with the inventory and equip interface buttons. I felt that not only did this whole panel not look very nice but it also didn't really need to be there the whole time because the mouse is locked to controlling the player's rotation most of the time anyway. So I completely redid that panel so that it now doesn't show up at all when you're using the mouse to control the player but when you free up the mouse by either pressing tab or holding down shift you can see that the GUI buttons slide onto the screen with a nice animation and then you can use them to access your inventory or check what you're wearing as normal. Then when you let go of shift or press tab again the buttons slide elegantly off the screen again giving you as much space as possible on the screen to actually play the game. And these other buttons here will of course also have some function in the future. Also I was able to put one more new model that was sent in this week into the game and that is this beautiful herb stool model here which is looking very nice indeed. As I already said I also spent a lot of time planning the upcoming update to the visual effects of the attacks but I haven't really got anything to show for that in the game quite yet but you'll be able to see a bit more of what I've been planning in tomorrow's behind the scenes devlog video. And finally I just wanted to thank you guys for all of the name suggestions that you've been giving me over the last week. I've been putting together a list of all of my favourite ones and I'll continue to do that over the next week and then I'll create a straw poll or something before next week's devlog so that you can all vote for your favourite. For this week though that is pretty much it. Next week I'm going to start work on the new visual effects for the attacks and hopefully I'll have some exciting things to show you in the next devlog and I'm also going to start planning the attack editor tool that I'm going to be programming soon which will allow me to create some exciting looking attacks with all of the new visual effects. There'll be a new behind the scenes devlog video out tomorrow evening so look out for that and you can see updates of the game throughout the week by following any of my social media pages, links are in the description below. But yeah thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have an absolutely wonderful week and I will see you all next time.